Okay, I'm going to show you how you can produce a directory with advertisements of about 90 pages in about five minutes from Catlay. So we've got our equestrian pages directory here, and this is a listings of products and services of interest to horse owners. So here's our data, and we can see that we've got some ads booked, one column and three column ads booked. Now you can obviously define your own ads to whatever sizes you want. So once you've got the data in the database, you create what we call publishing style sheets. And these tell CatBase what data you want to publish and how you want it all sorted and formatted and everything. We're not going to go into detail about that, how that works right now. So I'm going to just produce one section for the moment and it's going to be the education and training section. So I've created a set which consists of the categories in the education and training section. And I'm going to, and I've created a project which has various steps in it, one of them being the education and training section. So now in my project, I've told it which set of records I want to use, which is all the records in the education and training category, and which publishing style sheet I'm going to use. So all I do now is say publish that data. Catbase is now creating a file, uh, just a plain text file that's got all the information in it and all the formatting instructions. There we go. Okay, now for the fun part, let's import that file into InDesign. So here's our InDesign layout. So we've gone to the first page. We just go up to the file menu and we choose import text with X tags. Now X tags is a plugin for InDesign that enables us to automatically import pictures, uh, for example, for the display ads, which uh, InDesign itself doesn't actually support on imported files. So right now, here we go, InDesign has imported our data and placed the ads and the logos and formatted all the text. So you can see here we've got, for example, these people are members of the uh, Royal Horse Society, so they've got their name in red. And these people are not, apparently, so they have got their name in black. So you can tell Catbase how to do all kinds of conditional formatting based on whatever criteria you choose in the database. Now it's organized everything into its categories, and under each category, all the listings are sorted alphabetically. Now most of the ads look fine the way they are, but the bigger ones, the display, the banner ads, are not quite set properly. And the reason for this is um, that they need to be placed manually. Now, the smaller ads, the single column ads, have flowed through the columns automatically. So if we change something, if we uh, delete a listing, for example, all the ads, the single column ads and the logos, will stay in place with their listings because they are inline graphics but the banner ads are not. So we've told Catbase to create those just as standalone graphics, which we can move about like that, for example. Put that one there. What else have we got? Uh, okay, here are a couple more. Let's put that one there. And that one up there. And so on. We can just move these around however we want them, place them manually. Now, they're not quite perfect because I don't, for example, like the way this heading here butts up close to the uh, display ad. So we've created some object styles. We can choose an object style and that will make that look nicer. It gives it a nice drop shadow and a bit more spacing. We can just apply that object style to all of the banner ads. So there we go. We've got a nice document that's about, um, oh, let's see, 69 pages, all perfectly formatted, practically ready to go to press, and it was all created in less than five minutes.